to another episode of Modular in a Week. Today I am going to show you how to make this. This is uh, without the panel so far. This is the uh, gate inverter, so a quad gate inverter. And this is actually one of the modules that I've done from scratch. The first module I've done from scratch. Um, and it is built around a 4069 inverter and um, using the so it has four comparators inputs which are all set to one or three are set to one volt and one is adjustable with a potentiometer uh, so that means that any signal over one volt will create a uh, a one on the output of the comparator and that will then in turn become a zero on the output so these latches so when there's input there's not an output and when there's no input there is an output uh, and this is very much interesting in building rhythms uh, which takes me that I think we need to uh, in the next episode I think I need to make some drums so we have something to uh, play with all these clock dividers and inverters and I have a few other things I want to build with gates uh, so we need some drums um, but uh, so anyway you can make syncopated beats I think it's called like those kind of things with one clock and one of these modules you can so you send the clock input to one VCA say or one drum sound and the output of the uh, inverter to another. I'll show that in a minute. So I did this by just connecting um, I did this on the breadboard and just measured all the outputs and the LED brightness and all that until I think I have quite a good uh, circuit. It was very much fun uh, and this was when I got the op amp comparator circuit in my head figured out and then I could add that to this circuit uh, and figure out how to make this. It was a big uh, epiphany moment for me and um, so hopefully I can make more of my own stuff as well. There's of course a link to the schematics in the uh, description. So if you want to make this, if you find this useful, you can make it as well. So let's go and look at the schematics uh, and how to build this. Uh, and before that I'd like to say thank you to my Patreons who support me over on Patreon. Uh, and you can do that too. Uh, you can get some extra perks there um, and uh, yeah it makes it a bit more easier to do all these videos and buy all these components and stuff like that uh, so with that said let's go and look at the schematics this is the schematics and it is so I actually began by making a hex inverter to use all the inverters in the uh, 4069 uh, but I thought, I, I, after I've done two or three, I figured that it would be nice to have one that had an adjustable uh, gate input. So I could, I'll show why this is interesting, because you can get even more interesting beats out of that. Now, how this is connected. So, on this side, first of all, we have a voltage divider. Uh, 10k to ground, 100k to plus 12 volts. And as we said in the last video, this will give us around 1 voltage. This goes into three of the comparators. So here's uh, three op amps in a comparator configuration. And here is the input of the these three comparators. So when this input again is higher than the 1 volt here, we will get an output signal which goes through this diode and then we have an LED here that uh, is lit when we have uh, an input and this one is off when not having an input. 
It then goes into one of the inverters in the 4069 uh, and it then goes out into a transistor which gives uh, so when this one is on so when there's no signal here this output is high letting 12 volts go through here to this voltage divider here with two 1k resistors which gives an output voltage of about 6 volts and the LED is lit here. So either this one is lit or that one is lit and that means either there's signal or not. And I wanted a few LEDs because it's fun to have. I don't have that many LEDs so far in my modular and I wanted a few more. The special one about this one down here is that instead of being connected to this voltage divider this one is connected to its own voltage divider here around a 100k potentiometer and then just to 100 uh, ohm resistors on each side just to uh, so it just doesn't go all the way down to ground and all the way up to voltage plus. So this is how simple the circuit is. It doesn't take that long to build and unfortunately though I built in many many smaller sessions because as I said the kids are home and there wasn't there hasn't been a long time where I can just sit down and do this and I had to think about some stuff uh, during this time as well uh, how to build this. Uh, but let's look at the uh, board just to show a few things there. So here you can see the board and it's connected to a plus minus 12 volt power supply and uh, so it was originally meant to be a hex inverter uh, but instead I decided to make it a quad inverter with one that was is able to be adjustable. Uh, so therefore there is an empty uh, dual uh, or a TL072 socket in there, not used. And the voltage dividers is up here in the, with the TL074. And then the uh, 4069 is down here with the uh, transistors on two on each side. Um, and as you can see, uh, watching it like this, the inputs, there's no input on any of the inputs and therefore all the outputs are active or on. on. And the panel for this is supposed to look like this, so just all the inputs, outputs, LEDs and the pot at the bottom. Actually here you can see it. Uh the panel I got it just before uh, releasing this uh, video so that's how it looks like for real. So let's uh, hook this up uh, so you can understand why I want uh, what I want to use this module for. Alright so here we have the uh, quad gate inverter it's lying here and all the LEDs are lit um, so we take a clock source there and into that one, Maybe a bit slower. And let's take the divide by two into one of these. And you see it immediately starts to alternate between these two. Actually, let's do like this. We take it into the multiple. So we take one into this. And this one controls one VCA. That one. And then the, this directly controls this VCA. So these two alternate now. And even though you can't see that, let's show that with some sounds. So a bit loud.
Alright, so now we have those two and they alternate in between each other. So that's one of the good things with the inverter that you can do those, I call it syncopated beats. And then we can. Uh, another thing that is with the with the inverter is that when you pull the cable, the uh, this one is kept open that goes through the inverter, and the other one is closed. So you can have depending in if you want a signal to be open or closed when when you switch around. Uh, you can use the inverter as well. This is best uh, showed with drums. Uh, as I said before, we need to do drums so we can show this off uh, in a better way. All right, I quickly threw together a drum module here, a kick drum. Uh, we'll look at this in the next episode. Um, so let's see how this is connected. So we have a quite a fast clock going into the clock divider and the divide by four goes out into a quad multiple or a, a multiple buffered multiple that's the word uh, which then goes into the attack release module because this one needs a trigger not a gate um, and that one is the one that triggers the bass drum so it's very easily goes into self oscillation but something like that then it also goes into so here's one cable that goes into one of the inverters that then goes into one of the vectoral BCAs which has a small baseline which is um, and here you get the syncopated beats so the bass drum goes there and the bass line on the other one so here is the one this one in full um, use and the third one is we have blue noise going into one vectoral VCA with divide by one going into the inverter because we want to shift it uh, 1 16th to the left or right um, so it sounds like this and, and what this also does is this fun little thing that when we pull the clock it will go high so we get a nice uh, break and then we can change to a good beat here.
What about using the variable uh, inverter then? Uh, so let's do that. So now instead of taking the square, we take the triangle. And actually we can't use, we use the triangle directly into this one, of course. Uh, we do that and then, yes, now. So the triangle is, is now, uh, because it's an, Comparator which just chooses to make this into a gate. So the other one in here. Now these are um, from the same trigger, but they're still a bit off, and I can make this one even more off. So this is for making a bit more strange rhythms that you can make galloping rhythms and stuff like that. They're in sync and going out of sync and then completely on. So here it's a bit early. And now it's becoming a bit late. So, yeah, that's the reason. Useful or not, you decide. So that's the inverter module. Uh, and the next episode we really need to make some uh, drums uh, because it's really difficult to uh, show this module off uh, in this current configuration. But with a few drum modules I think we can really make some interesting beats with the clock divider and this module together um, and then uh, after that we'll continue with some more logic modules I think we'll see about that as I said in a previous video there is quite a lot going on right now uh, so and there's so many modules that I really 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 want to do um, so they're uh, fighting for my attention. Uh, but with that said, I hope you like this video and that you see that there's a use for this um, strange module. And uh, which, and if if you find if you do know a another schematics for one of these, please let me know because I really couldn't find uh, one online. Uh, that's why I had to make one myself, which was a good way of learning how to do something, I guess, that when you can't find it, you need to make it yourself. Anyway, hope you like this. Uh, subscribe, bell, all that, like, uh, ask questions, of course, and I'll see you in the next episode. Take care. Bye.